Hello everyone. Hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Uh, watch the video till the end. And also, if you are new to this channel, then you can subscribe us by clicking the bell icon. Friends, today we are going to learn a tutorial on accrual accounting basis, and there will be some examples that we will be discussing, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of the same. So, let's get into the nitty gritty of the same. The first and the foremost thing what you can see over here is the accrual basis of accounting: cash and cash receivables. Equivalence receivables net of allowance 73 and 59 respectively So and this this data is of Colgate SEC filing. So now what exactly over here accrual basis or accrual accounting basis is all about See accrual accounting basis is one of the most accepted methods in accounting in accrual accounting the revenue is recognized when the sale is done so Irrespective of the cash or the credit sale and the expenses are recognized when it is incurred and irrespective of whenever it has been paid. So accrual accounting is used by the most business owners. See, as per the accrual accounting, the accountant records an expense or revenue when it occurs. It has nothing to do with cash inflow or the time of the cash inflow and so on and so forth. So accrual accounting is the basis of one accounting principle that is matching principle as for the matching principle one needs to to record the expenses in correspondence with the revenue so expense in correspondence with the revenue now for example as a business owner if you record the sales you also need to record the cost of the goods sold at the same time it's like sales and you have to record cogs as simple as that but why most businessmen use accrual basis of accounting or accrual accounting basis? The main reason for using accrual accounting is to get a fair and an accurate picture of the business at any given stage. Let's say that you as an investor want to know where a business stands at any given point of time. So what would you want to know? You would want to know how a business is doing right now. And now what business will receive in near future. So if a company is using the accrual accounting, accrual basis of accounting, then as an investor, you won't be in doubt whether the current affairs of the company is in the most accurate or not. So accrual basis of accounting showcase exactly what is happening in the business, not what a business will achieve in the near future. Like for example, if a firm has sold products on credit basis, accrual basis of accounting will show the same as sales even even if the money is yet to be received by the company another important point that i want to highlight over here about accrual basis of accounting is that accrual accounting is applicable for the business which are relatively medium to large and which earns a decent amount of the cash flows during a year now Let's understand a measuring grid for accrual basis of accounting. See, there is not always an exact figure to find out whether you should use cash accounting or accrual accounting. But still, there is a structure that is being followed by the market. So you can, uh, you can call it a rule or a guideline. Here it is. If a business is selling, let's say, more than uh, five billion dollar, million dollar, I'm sorry, in in a year, and if you are a corporation, then you should go for accrual basis of accounting otherwise you should go for cash accounting and you may ask why this is the question it is a general rule the reason behind this is the number of transaction and in case of sole proprietorship and the lesser revenue the number of transactions are fewer and that's why in this case cash accounting is great but for the corporations and the large revenue the number of transactions are so many that the accrual basis of accounting is best now let's discuss the example let's look at few practical examples of accrual basis of accounting see accrual basis of accounting we will we'll be discussing this is the example number one accounts payable so i'll write ac payable over here difference limited is one company let's say has a salary that is payable close enough to let's say forty thousand how would we treat it as per the accrual basis of accounting as for the accrual basis of accounting, the effect of the transaction would be two dimensional. That means one needs to record this transaction in two places. First, it would be recorded as a salary expense. Okay. 
and in in the basically in the PNL that is the income statement, and then it would be treated as a current liability. So in that scenario, and it will be also be recorded in the balance sheet, right? So let us now look at the practical example of the accrual basis of accounting. I'll I'll show you a snapshot of Colgate's current liability, and we'll we'll take out some conclusion out of that. As you can see over here, the accounts payable over here one one two four, and that is the as per the source is as per the Colgate's SEC filing. The next example that we are going to discuss is example number two. That will be for uh, prepaid expenses. Uh, we'll begin prepaid expenses now. Similar limited that is new company has prepared a wages of let's say one lakh dollar, right? And how would we treat it as per the accrual basis of accounting? See, this transaction is opposite of the previous example. That was the one that we discussed accounts payable. As per the accrual basis of accounting, we'll treat in a similar way. We'll record the transaction in two places. The first that we'll record is as wages expenses in the PNL, that is the income statement, and we will also record the prepaid wages, okay, under the current assets of the balance sheet. Let's now look at another practical example of the accrual basis of accounting. I'll show you a snapshot of the Facebook's balance sheet, and what we will note that Facebook has reported prepaid expenses of nine fifty nine million and six fifty nine million in twenty sixteen and twenty fifteen respectively. Let me show you that. As you can see, the prepaid expenses of Facebook, prepaid expense, and other current assets, nine fifty nine and six fifty nine respectively. This is uh, the sources as for the Facebook SEC filing. The next example that we are going to learn that is example number three and that will be for accounts receivable which we call as daters so there's a company let's say equal limited has a total sales of uh, let's say one million dollar out of the total sales let's say 60 percent is in cash and how would we treat this transaction under the accrual accounting so as for the accrual basis of accounting, 40% of the sales are credit sales, but the credit sales will also be treated as sales and profit would be generated by including both the cash and the credit sales and then deducting the cost of the goods sold and the operating expenses. If it were a cash accounting, we wouldn't have recorded the credit sales. Like I'll, I'll show you again an example of accrual basis of accounting taken from the Colgate's balance sheet. And let, let me show you a screenshot of the same first. What we note over here that uh, receivable or net of allowance is 1759 uh, is the amount uh, million uh, and 1427 in 2016 and 2015 respectively for receivables data. Now let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of uh, accrual basis of accounting. There are many benefits. The first is it is a really a holistic approach. So unlike cash accounting, accrual accounting is a very holistic accounting system. You would agree that, you know, the business is, is not about cash only. There are many aspects that should be taken into account. Under accrual system, we can record all the financial transactions of the business, cash and others. And we can also create financial statements like income statement balance sheets to get more holistic view of how a company is doing overall. Second, there are almost no discrepancy or you can say no errors. Since the financial transaction is immediately recorded as it occurs, there are almost no chances of discrepancies or errors. And since everything is recorded all the time, if one wants to do an audit, the information is easily available. The third is there is a high level of accuracy over here. We uh, can say that uh, unlike cash accounting, accrual accounting follows double entry system. That means that one account is debited and another account is credited. As a result, we can see that how one account is reduced and another account is, has increased. And it increased the accuracy level of the accounting and later on during the audit, things get really easier. The fourth point is that it is recognized by the Companies Act. Another benefit of the accrual accounting is that it is recognized by the Companies Act. And, uh, and that's why a huge number of the companies follow accrual accounting instead of the cash accounting. Let's discuss some of the disadvantages. The first disadvantage are, it's quite complex. Okay, it's quite complex. Cash accounting uh, is cash accounting is easy to record and easy to maintain, but accrual accounting is very difficult to record since every time a financial transaction happens, there should be an entry uh, in, in the books of accounts and maintaining the whole accounting system isn't that easy job as well. 
and the second is holistic but it is difficult to maintain that is a very big thing in itself a business has different aspects and if a business is huge in a single day hundreds and thousands of the financial transaction needs to be recorded under the accrual accounting maintaining all of this every day day after day is an an easy job for an accountant so that's it uh, for this particular topic if you have learned and enjoyed watching this video please like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates thank you everyone cheers